The Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? We back with another day from the best podcast you never heard of. The Conceited Nobody. We back up in here. Uh, this is episode 128. We should be like on 130. But we had a brief hiatus. Uh, hiatus. I don't even know what the hiatus is about. Why were we on hiatus? We had an unfortunate occurrence of events, and then basically a bunch of un- unfortunate current of events. Uh, you know, first was the breakout of Corona. Everybody went crazy. There wasn't nothing going on. And then uh, the second was. The coronavirus. Shout out to the cricket internet. Why is it? Why are you a robot? Right? He got the coronavirus. And then, uh, the second part was um, rest in peace. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me go. Let me get that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, before we before we even get this started, man, it'd be remiss for me not to. Start this off with saying safe travels. I hate when I gotta say safe travels to people. Safe travels to my nephew, uh, Fat Boy Ramirez. We lost him last last week. <clears throat> um, Twenty years old, man. He's like a son to me. He grew up with my son. Spent a lot of time with me. Um, a sad situation. I mean, it's beyond sad. Sad is way they ain't a fucking description of what's going on with that shit. Um, cool dude, cool dude. The most high he moves in ways that we can't always understand, but when you got faith, you gotta respect it. Uh, it it's fucked up. I love my little nigga. We having his funeral tomorrow, actually. It is weird. It's weird as shit to me, though. Because anybody know, you know, I don't know. Lost a lot of people. A lot of close people. Uh, this this is like one of the toughest ones. It's it's different. <laughs> when you when you grew up with somebody as opposed to watching somebody grow up. Everybody know I lost my twin a few years ago. Then I lost an older brother and an older sister. But this one kind of hit a little different. This one right here, I almost felt feel felt felt feel like kind of lost mentally about it uh of course <clears throat> we love him to death shout out to my sister his sister <laughs> and uh my nephew brenda garrison bugs it's gonna be a tough day tomorrow i'm gonna tell you man the, the, the funny shit about life is how it happened i never in a million years imagined because i'm doing the eulogy tomorrow and it's some shit that i couldn't imagine uh, i talked to my sister today they went up there and viewed the body. And she had asked me, because I had to do a Ralph Anderson, she asked me, was I going to stop by and go up there, man? I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't. I, it, it hurt me to talk about him. It's like, I really don't want to talk about him right now, but just for the sake of his memory, I definitely have to uh, mention his name, talk about him. I'll do, uh, I'll do more of that tomorrow, of course, at the uh, funeral. The funeral is more for the family. I feel funeral is always for the family. He's already gone to his uh, habitation to rest until the, the judgment. So he, in the space that he's gonna be in, so it's just a member's thing. I don't know exactly how they think they're gonna do what they was talking at 10 in, 10 out, but anybody know I got a huge family and that's definitely not happening. Um, and there's Edward Lamar. He met. He named after my father. I'm missing, man. I'm gonna miss him. And Juvie, he know him. He, him and uh, my nephew, super good friends. That's actually how I know Juvie. Shout out to Gears. Gears kind of taking it pretty tough. He, he taking it tough. Uh, what can you say? It's his little brother, and we done talked about it. But tomorrow we gonna have a funeral. Um, I love you, fat boy. I mean, that's all I can say about that. But. I don't know. It's like I don't, I don't deal with death. Dude. Like some people, they I don't deal with that shit. Dude. It's like I'm, I'm like the only like a thwart of male in my family and shit. So it's like a lot of people look at me and lean on me on certain situations, man. But 
I'll, I'll be at a loss sometimes. Uh, they be talking and stuff. They be talking casually about him and shit. I can't have no conversation. See you later. Thank you. So, the, it, it, I don't know. I, like, even right now, I don't want to talk about it because I'll be sitting here on the podcast crying and shit. But it's all it's all just the natural shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the sadness is natural. Uh, before we kick it off, I just want to say, like, to just show how natural it is to be sad. Uh, when 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 the most when the, when the when the Messiah was here, <laughs> for sure, he was trying to teach the um, people around him a lesson about when his buddy Lazarus, his La his friend Lazarus died. He told his disciples and stuff that they were going to see Lazarus. He told them Lazarus sleep, and they're like, "Well, if he sleep, he can wait." He's like, nah, he ain't still. like he had to be more playing with him. He did. Lazarus' sisters had sent the message for the Messiah to come and see him because he was sick. She knew the power he had. Now, mind you, he's the son of the Almighty. He's powerful here, and he got all kinds. Of he's the Messiah. He can do everything. He knew exactly where he was going. He knew he was going to see his buddy, who was dead. He get there. And be, he told the disciples in his way, he's like, what y'all about to see is going to be for y'all. I know what I can do, I know what my father can do, but y'all need to have a reason to believe. Y'all can to do it like that. When he got there, his uh, Lazarus' sisters came up and like, had you been here, he would have lived. Like, I'm paraphrasing, I'm short enough story. And the Messiah was so overcome at that moment that he started crying. Now, now mind you, I sit here and I say that I know that the Most High is a plan and, and the kingdom will see my nephew again. But that still don't stop the sadness. So just like the Messiah, he knew what he was going to do. But the motion of the people around him, it overwhelmed him. So even like sadness not an indication of lack of faith or anything like that. It's just, it's just natural human emotions that we feel. Um, so... I'm gonna be sad for a long time about this one now. Like it, this, this is like one of the biggest gut punches I've ever had. But I always say that everything happened for a reason. The most I say he killed, he make a lot. If he created good, he created evil. So that means everything in his control and within his hands. I must say this though: if anybody didn't reach out to me or my family and shit, and I think that and I thought that we was cool, um, zero words. Like I had zero words. I ain't gonna say no names because these people was close to the situation who didn't reach out, and it it, is, it disturbed me. But it's times like that that reveal who people are and what's going on with everybody. But again, man, I love Fat Boy uh, Ramirez, and then we gonna have it on going. What they call it, home going tomorrow funeral. My sister was gonna cremate me. Thought she was having a lack of funds. I told her I don't do that. I said in our culture and stuff that ain't how we historically do. The only people who was doing cremations was the nations around us, and it was ritualistic. All the time, uh, Israelites went in the fire when it was some kind of punishment, you know, a curse. She didn't do it and stuff. They took a donation in an old school, and they and they figured all that out, though. So we're going to handle that tomorrow, though. Uh, Barak Yahuwah, we always give comfort, even when he don't give clarity. But when you lean on him and you focus on him, that's all you need to do. Uh, Outside of that, I got that out the way. And I, I never totally get out the way. <clears throat> but I don't know, I'm rambling. And I got a lot of talking to do tomorrow. And I don't know, you or my. Well, uh, what's been going on with y'all, though, man? I know this quarantine probably got y'all up in arms. Staggered yeah. aside, came here all late. What's happening with you, man? Man. We ain't did the introductions. First off, this is of course the low key legend. Uh, we got the squad up in here. Ooh, I'm like, we all got the squad up here. Jason is very comfortable. That's a little, little, little up, man. <laughs> this is towards AK low key legend. To the right, we got Juvie, motherfucker. <clears throat> Renaissance Juvie. Mm -hmm. Weed, man. <laughs> <laughs> to his right, we got Jason up in here, man. Jason. Go Jason R. Sound like a. Uh, 80s cartoon, <laughs> Go Ghost Jason Team Racer. Yeah, yeah. And then to his right, we got the DJ, the dopest DJ in the city. DJ, how it go? 
Yeah, he can't do it. He eating right now. <laughs> 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 we got DJ T Rex in this motherfucker. We need that. We got. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. send you that. Uh, tag. Yeah. Uh, I had to bump for that mother. Yeah, I ended up. I did get it. Yeah, for sure. Then of course we got my favorite Israelite in here. So how you doing, homie? Man, I'm in here. Made it. That's what's up. So you made it. Made it always. We the only. We the last podcast that ain't quarantine. I'm gonna keep saying that. We so really when we go to lit. jail, y'all like, did the side say, yeah, of course he said so. He said something on there. We are legally so gathering. This is illegal gathering. And we black. This could be the next panel here. This is a federal uh, fence. He, he stated the obvious that we was black. Was no, that's not obvious. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's your first offense right there. Hey, look, bro. Yeah, I'm I had to share the link a little bit. Listen, I can't be the only one sharing the link. I can't be the only one sharing the link around this motherfucker. Talking about Spotify link? Any link. Spotify link, the missing link, the chain link, dog. No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, that too, though. But anyway, though, man, we're going to have a fantastic show. As we say, uh, we still in the midst of uh, the coronavirus. This shit ain't going to ever get over. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. The coronavirus. Hell yeah. I wish they'd take it back right hand, bro. That it shouldn't be here in the first place. That got a side of thank you. House. I mean, uh, Juvia, thank you. That got Juvia, thank you. Thanks, bro. That really made my day. Shout out to fucking uh, Rob the Voice. Rob the Voice be out here. He's always showing love. That's how come when we... Get up out of this uh, so-called quarantine. When we are a little show, we're going to turn up. Definitely, we also on the heels of volume two of the mixtape. We've been getting some pretty good feedback from that. Y'all been getting good feedback? Yeah, so far. So, you got some bars for the next one? Man, I don't rap, man. You got some, take that, take that. You got some ad libs. I'm like, sure, not. Y'all just getting in line, getting together. Put out another track, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's the type of monologue we need, though, on the hour. Like, that type of shit, I could record it and put that. On everything. Just keep, on you know everything. what I mean? You gotta, Side talks. I'll talk over. Up. You got to get in some reaper and a bartender. <laughs> Pimp Skinny. I'll talk over. That's who you going to be, Pimp, Pimp Skinny. Pimp Skinny. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's what I was back in high school, man. That was your name? Kingpin, nah, King Skinny Pin. Oh, really <laughs> his revision is history. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, but dog, nah, speaking of quarantine, man, me, me and Juvie, we were talking about this earlier. You know, they talking about that they're going to start plans to so-called reopen up everything. They said they got a three-phase plan uh, starting May the 1st. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm actually disappointed. I had plans for this quarantine. I had planned on for it to go until at least July. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> I planned on this shit going at least to like. This you know, is new? August. I thought this shit going I'm like, cool oh, with it. My birthday, May 20th. I wanted to go to LA. I just thought it was going to be good. Yeah, my birthday, May 20th. I wanted to go to LA. I just thought it was going to be shit shaking, but you could have went. It's underrated, man. <laughs> Chilling is underrated. Damn, I didn't get the memo, bro. Listen, I didn't know they was trying to do that. Either. I heard they was trying to do some beaches, but you know, nigga, stop you know, it. You know, nigga, really what? Beaches. You know, it's my they really idea. Some beaches. Yeah, dumb shit. They talking about over the movies and shit first. I think they was just trying to get them murder, I mean, them death numbers up real quick. I think before. so, too. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. What you yeah. said, Drew? Man, life's so bad. Chilling is underrated. I just don't want to do shit. <laughs> my biggest takeaway is the, how clear the traffic be. I've never seen so much beautiful traffic early in the morning. My my ride to work be the most serene ride I ever had in my life. Um, if I was to liken it to anything, it has to feel like sitting on the bench while Jordan out there doing all the work getting the, 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 the championships. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be the most peaceful feeling in the world, man. We could. Every so often I come in and get a rebound. I feel like Jed Bushler. Whatever. <laughs> That's who I've been feeling like. But look, though. Uh, I don't want it to go back. This was convenient. This is very convenient. I mean, it's some shit. You know. It made you understand Thanos a little bit better, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Like you can appreciate Thanos' goals and shit. I'm like, man, if you can just snap and get rid of the people I don't fuck with. At least yeah. half the traffic shit. At least half the traffic. But damn it, man. I like getting shit brought to my car and not have to get out the car, nigga. 
I want to watch a motherfucker man, make it, but this is the most me. close to white as I ever felt. Bruh. This is what this is. This has to be what slavery felt like from the white people's perspective. You know what I'm saying? They tell you shit like you a Sancho. You know what I'm saying? It's like the most servitude ever. Everybody extra oh nice and shit. God, cheap ass. Yeah. They look down when you talk. You yes, come across cheap. them. They put their mask on, put their face down and shit. Look down at their toes while they talking to you. Why did they? Why did it take a virus to teach like other cultures fucking personal space? And they got been saying back the fuck up. Cause they I've been backing up. You were saying. I've been backing up the whole. This time. is a universal language. <laughs> Coronavirus is the first time we had a universal language. This is like before the Tower of Babel. Before all the languages mm. got split up, everybody is on the same shit for the first time in history. I can't, uh, people don't understand, like, we so caught up in the moments that we don't understand how monumental this moment is. Like, everybody is scared. It's not Freddie or Jason. It's not Chucky or Pinhead. We scared of Corona Man. <laughs> That's what we scared of. The New York Post reported today that you can possibly catch coronavirus from a fart. Freddie Krueger never killed nobody with a fart. This is some scary shit. Yeah, so is the wars on quarantine? They said the drug cartels are having a hard time moving their packs because mm. <laughs> of this shit. I don't like. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you. That's crazy. Not though, cause... because of me. I'm still doing my <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna done. Another, I'm gonna need another shit, man. Here soon, man. Uh. Hey, man. Listen, that is the South Sabri <laughs> talking. Yeah. I'm be confused yeah. with nobody else up in there. Views do not express. But going over the fence. Ain't <laughs> hey, nobody out. Have y'all have y'all been like? And first off, let me say this too, though, man. Unfortunately, my nephew he passed from pancreatitis. That's the fucked up thing about it. He was diabetic and he didn't tell nobody. He only 20 years old, he went to the doctor, he didn't tell nobody. And that's that's the official diagnosis. They ran a little weak ass uh, corona test with he, it came back negative. The most fucked up thing about it though, was like he was in there on a life support. My sister couldn't even go up there. With this weak ass quarantine shit. We had to do silly shit like like the nurses grab his phone and she FaceTime. We gotta look in with a ventilator and shit. You can imagine the anguish that she felt. These are times we in, man. Though and everything gonna be rectified during wow. the next life. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, man. Um, but I just did want to throw it out there because like, you know people get to talking. You can't even fucking sneeze without coronavirus, let alone pass away. Have the any, have y'all fears been increased? Side scared in the motherfucker. My dad's scared. That's the uh, closest yeah. thing got to me. Yeah, he like he had kidney failure. And then he had fluid in his lungs, so they trying to relate it to that. So they gave me tests and all that stuff. But I got to call him back. My sister said they diagnosed him with the COVID-19. But I got to call him back to hear out of his mouth. So then he said he did that, but I don't know. Shout out to your pops, man. Yeah, he's about to be a fighter, so he's going to box it up. Asad, you still scared? As the old folks say, I take solace in knowing that there's five other people that are going to pass away with me. <laughs> <laughs> All y'all in here. Yeah, man, we the only, we the only, when, when everybody else is doing something, I want to be the only one not doing it. Now, when there's a couple that are not doing it, I decide with my own intelligence. <laughs> but I'm the only thing standing. Nah, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> listen, listen. You scared to try? No, I really ain't. I still gotta go to work, so it seemed like a normal. I mean, just besides the bad count and the cancellations of the flights, it just seemed like it's normal to me. Just it's normal to somebody mad. crazy, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that bad shit. That's what the shit seem abnormal. It be like a regular thing. Like, like, like I didn't know that nigga was a nurse. Though it's getting more like traffic. Like, people, people, coming out. people coming out now. Yeah, yeah. Out, I ain't gonna lie, man. Things been pretty regular to me. Like I'm trying to figure out. Besides, besides the club, like, like I mean, I quit going out, right? So I ain't been out in a while and going out to eat and stuff like that. Like, you can't do, like, stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't know. It's a blessing in the sky. <laughs> I ain't want to do shit like that. I shop like, what? Like, go to the club. Hold on, man. You got shows. You a fucking career. No, you a nigga. fucking career comedian. I don't, I don't want to be. This nigga retired. Nigga, I don't want to be in the fucking club. The fucking 
a dance club, nigga, with niggas bumping in. Party club. Yeah, yeah, party club. club. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm not not necessarily clubs. I'm gonna say organized events. Yeah. But stand up is uh is, is extinct now. Um, <laughs> no, no, because they don't keep it alive on IG battles. <laughs> Hey, I can't, I, I can't, I, no, like not even the promoters of, of comedy and owners of stand-up comedy clubs oh, are, are watching. Did you watch it? I ain't gonna check it out. I'm not hating on whatever anybody else is doing. I this am. is not what I'm doing. And I, I'm not a fan yes. of it. If the call for us, hey. My yeah. perspective <laughs> is I'm not a fan of it. And it's not just like it's not them me. necessarily. It's not the, the people who partaking in it. It's mm-hmm. just that I'm not gonna meet you in your it's live at eight. Yeah, yeah. It's not that type of. It's a yeah, different. Like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not meeting you. It's a whole life. different medium, so it's a whole <laughs> different thing. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not saying. coming to Cause, your Because the comedy, I'm comedy, it's a different energy, man. Yeah, man. You, when you doing stand up comedy, you, you can't just <laughs> sit there and stare at your fucking phone and be like. What's wrong with Sister's Week? Oh. <laughs> nigga, I don't yeah. care if it's on the stream, nigga. I don't want to know delayed reactions even. Mm-hmm. Like, motherfucker, you don't even know what you said. I mean, you know what you if you said some shit that what was What if funny. it's like a live sketch show? That's cool. I would love to do some elaborate variety, like some old yeah. school Flip Wilson or Kara Burnett shit. Speak. Boy, you on that. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the only let shit. Me, let, me show you, let me show you how far you went back. You know Carol Burnett? Don't nobody See? know, come up, but that's good. That's how that's a high quality yeah, comedy. Like good time, there was no shows like that. What you Cedric the Entertainer presents, nigga. You said who? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. He ain't it. He ain't it. He told you he told you she was a good time. <laughs> when he caught the reference. We relate to that. It don't matter. At least we feel good that we know. But y'all know it either. You know it. <laughs> Hey, Jay's hey, I don't know it either. I'm young. And that's yeah. the problem. You're young, you're young, young whip up snapper. I ain't young, never seen nothing. But that's my point. You ain't never yeah, seen yeah. nothing of that quality. In, that t- in this the time, so it would be cool. Like I said, it's You were serious when you said that? Yeah, go ahead. For you younger kids. The Cedric the Entertainer show is the only variety show that. There was no fucking variety show, so. Yeah, I would do some shit like that. Speaking of IG battles. Have y'all uh, had a chance no. to check out any? Because it's been some monumental. No. First off, let me say this. People are showing a whole different side of themselves due to this uh, supposed quarantine. People going live who don't go live. Uh, people doing push-ups and shit who don't put do push-ups and shit. People are doing everything. And it's like they can't figure out a way to cope with what's going on. Uh... How have you been able to survive, Jason? Uh, I've been just, uh, just trying to stay creative inside, you know. Uh, maybe I didn't respond well either. I just be making music and shit, you know. So I try. I guess I switched. Typical shit. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like I'm trying to stay creative and write and be productive and continue to just uh, try to save money and shit like that, so I can, you know, come out of this thing strong. It's not about you know what we doing now. It's about, Ain't that, up. Ain't that fucked up? Ain't that fucked up? Ain't that fucked up? That's like you know what I'm saying. Like you be watching TV and shit, then you you, you just change the channel and shit. You forgot what you was doing. My bad. Nah, but it's fucked up though. Like it, yeah, motherfuckers is hurting. There's gonna be a lot of clubs. It's not gonna open back up at all. Open back up at all. At all. Because of this. Yeah, I'm trying. What if, what if you was like, like I got this my last month my liquor license. We about to run it up and she get this bag. Man, I just like quarter off. Nigga, we bootlegging, man. Nigga, we out the back of the trunk. Like, nigga, I got gallons for the low. Hey. I'm selling that shit out of Ziploc bags if I got <laughs> for <laughs> four fucking liquor in the Ziploc bag, nigga. Trey and DJ, man, and Trey go live. He's been, he's been going live before the corona. Why haven't you turned the fuck up? You this this is your you time. Been live, you? He been going. He done went live before the, my, the disaster. My issue, my issue is this copyright shit. Like I put up, I do not own the rights mm. to this music. I'm just DJing, and I get shut down. YouTube shut me mm. down. Instagram shut me down. I'm trying to just find out a good streaming app or something right now, yeah. so I can go in because you know I got Kelly so, Mix is ready to go. I don't get this because like, what is the algorithm? Yeah. Like, how do they pick it up? And what made me think about that is, we just seeing the battles. The uh, Rizzo versus, who did Rizzo battle? DJ uh, with the premiere? Yeah. Then we had the Babyface versus Teddy Riley. Is it a license? But is it, if it's algorithm, if it's just picking up randomly, why is it not picking up they shit? Because it's not like they like, yeah, Teddy Riley about to get on, he playing his own shit. Right. 
Nah, they know that's good. That's good for views, I guess. Or good for people to be on that app. But I'm saying if it's algorithm based though, because it's picking. And then how the fuck do they know when you type in I don't own the rights to this music? <laughs> like who picks this shit up? Yeah, yeah that's like, crazy. Know, this shit, know, this shit is crazy. Hey, that shit crazy. Man. They like, well, they veterans, so they can use any music. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't they know. got that. They got that check mark. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that check mark. They're important. Right. Yeah, it yeah. can. They, yeah, they can. They <laughs> contribute into their fucking app or platform as a whole, and that's why they let them slide. Have y'all uh, participated in any of the battles or check any out? No. No, I wanted to check my homie out because he went live on a DJ battle. He Ooh. battled somebody. Mark me. Uh, him, actually, him and Garrett's now, you know, we are, we are cool in our circle, so. You know what's to that circle, man? We're talking about niggas who be on TV and shit. Oh, yeah, Videos yeah. Oh, yeah, you talking about. Yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't checked out my famous battle. No I ain't they took out. I be, I be seeing Twitter, like, like clips and shit, but I ain't never, like, tuned in. So yeah. I haven't either. It's not a lack of interest, but it's just like our, our it's schedule. It's definitely not a lack of interest, yeah, yeah but it's just like, cause I would have, like, tuned in to. To some of them, like I wanted to watch was it Scott Storch and T Pain. I don't know why I wanted to watch that. That's that absolutely it. one I would not want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I would, like what? Dope I don't know. It's one of the entertainment. Like I don't know. That's all it was. It's been entertaining. It's not like I'm watching this because like I want they got a hell of a catalog that I know of. It's just like it's it just two people like Dude. Scott Storch yeah. is easy. He's really he good with like coming shit. up with like, yeah, he's, he's, with, he's, like but I want to say hell of a catalog. He's, he's a hell of a producer. Number wise, probably not from. Classics that you gonna always know, hold in high regard. Head, so you you know, have to go back to a certain time. I'm speaking uneducatedly as well, so you gotta take that into consideration. Nah, but I would. I think it's kind of like with the comedy thing. Like it's different for me if I was to go. Like if I want to go see Trey live, it would be different than watching him on the screen. Cause you, you dare. Like you feeling whatever you feeling his way. The whole, wave, the whole live thing is definitely. I'm just gonna say that shit. The battle aspect do add some sauce to it though. Yeah. When you have legendary the battle, people, yeah, yeah, the battle. And so, Ja Rule approached Fifty Cent with a battle. Uh -huh. Fifty Cent, of course, is going to say, "No, nigga, you ain't about to fucking to change. clout chase off me." But you know what I'm saying? Your career's dead. Me. You not about to get this shit off me. Uh, I, but that's a battle ought to be interested to see. You know what I'm saying? Where you putting head against head? Because for whatever people feel about Ja Rule now, Ja Rule had one of the most incredible runs in hip hop history. Uh, he started in that mix with me. Oh, yeah. I got him in the library. Play, what's your favorite Ja Rule song? Man, he just got so many. The one, uh, the first album, nigga. Vinny, Beachy, Vinny. Nigga, that album was cold. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, nobody said that. I got a hey, whole shit. Running through the red lights. Suicide freestyle, nigga. I like all his shit. Yeah, that was something. Yeah, I like all his shit. I like earlier Ja Rule and shit, better. Like earlier ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. I like R&B, though. That's me, though. That's the one. Once what upon a time. You said I'm what? Tupac. Huh? Hold on. Be, ain't this a bitch. Because when I had opened the history book, I had already. He hit that nigga in the mouth when he go in the mouth. I had already. <laughs> he the mouth. I had already seen BT. <laughs> So when I open the history books, I say, now I know this old nigga is not trying to be like my nigga Jay, <laughs> hey, king of New York rule. I Ooh. said, oh, okay. That nigga right. trying to wear a bandana like John Rule. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Now that lasts hey. about a week until I actually got that. You know, back then you got to get to the gas station. That's right? how can your name wasn't Pippin Slim that you said you was Skinny in high Pimp. school. <laughs> Skinny Pippin. Yeah, you had to get to the gas yeah. station, man. Once you get to the gas station, you pop open the source and you read a little Damn. bit until they tell you to put the magazine down and you figure out what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> figure out what happened. So, it, but that's a true story. For about a week, I thought, you know. No. Same way I had it with Prince and Michael Jackson. No. That's wait a minute. Wait, what do you no. think about that And Prince trying to, Prince trying to be like Mike. I said, who this new, you know, gay looking Michael Jackson, man? He got all okay, see, this one is turning to pure comedy. So I was born in 86. Asad so never had that thought for real. No. So I was making this shit with Ego now. Listen. The way I get introduced to stuff is backwards. It's what's hot right then when I'm a young kid. Then it's what's the legend. Mm. So what's hot is Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Jackson Five. That's what I listen. To. Nobody, I mean, my pops ain't have prints that I knew of. <laughs> and he probably did, but at least that's not what I'm checking for. Mm -hmm. 
And then when I see Prince later in my teenage life, and I'm like, man, what the hell? <laughs> and same, with, same with Ja Rule. Ja Rule's on TV. Ja Rule's being talked about on the radio. You're going to hear him. You're not going to hear a podcast like that unless it's a certain time of day or a year. I really appreciate so everything it. Everything was backwards, bro. I just had to throw that out there. Shout out That's to Ja Rule. That's <laughs> real. 100% real. He was the GOAT. <coughs> never. He was never a GOAT. He was never a GOAT. But he had his run. Uh, GOATs come ever so often. I think, for one, he was part of that generation of GOATs where it was few at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, namely, in particular, uh, if you ever, that Money Grand song. And what, that's the, uh, it was a Jay Z, Ja Rule, and DMX song. Right. DMX and Jay Z, they were goats at that particular time. Ja Rule was just like a step behind. He was like Carmelo, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron. That's who he was. Uh, this is when Jay Z was coming out with Five Million from the Hard Knock, when Ja Rule did the two number one albums in a year. And they trying to make the murderers or whatever. That fight was supposed to be murdering because yeah. that, that's what they were talking oh, about. It's, it's murder. The group yeah, was like fight. the murderers and then made a murder. Ain't right? yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 that's forgettable. Of course, 50 Cent turned down that Ja Rule battle. If y'all could have any battle, and you you brought up two good names, the, the Barton Jackson Prince, historically or contemporary, or you can take a historic act against an act that's current right now. Who would y'all choose? So, with you, Jason? Man. I would choose uh, Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. And you can see that sketch online on YouTube if you just type in beef for Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. Uh, but I really would want to see that shit, though. Like, even though he was kind of. Uh, even though he's kind of a. Uh, it ain't going to be no DJ. Like, it ain't going to be no. Uh, Straight up battle for real, like it's, it's, and then, you know what? I can't even say that for real because that's two different sounds, honestly. That's what it I was, was just straight about. off the blind strength, and it was really just a shameless plug for the for the for the sketch. So go watch B Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder on YouTube. You ain't doing shit. You in quarantine? It's crazy though, cause uh, catalog wise, it ain't too many people about to fuck with Stevie at all. <laughs> that shit. His, his catalog is fucking ridiculous. I think that out of... He underappreciated. I challenge anybody to find me a singer or a solo singer R&B with a catalog that's... The only person with a catalog up against his is Prince. But even if he just broke it down to albums, Prince can't fuck with Stevie. Because Stevie had like four straight classics at one point in time. Um... Damn, that's tough for me to say because I fuck with Prince Henry. <laughs> Who would George be a son? Project Pat Noon. Nah, man. Ain't nobody coming to me. First of all, 3 6 I'm impenetrable. Of course. Um, no Why need. You it ain't, it ain't you're not going to um, get into the ranks, man. They, they, they're the greatest underground group of all time. No, they're not the underground kings or the underground kings. Okay. All right. But. Back. <laughs> you do <threw> all. <laughs> I've never seen that shit. I've never seen no, that no, shit. I'm gonna come back and I said, nah, we're gonna run off. Okay. Yeah. Run off on you fucking right. Uh, <laughs> Ludacris and T.I. Back when I'm um, Young Buck. That's a good one. Shout out to Young Stop. Buck. Put them on that track. Young Buck, is laid, Young Buck is laid up with a lady with a beard as we speak. Allegations. He wasn't when I was listening to the track, you know, Cashville. I said take the video down. 2004. Uh, but yeah, you gotta have them too. Atlanta, Atlanta be on fire. Bro. That's you a know? that's a good one actually right there though, because they did have a little altercation where they was dissing each other the same song. That stomp hard in the month though. Yeah. That's one of the hardest songs in hip hop uh, in the recent maybe like what twenty years. Yeah, and they was they was both they was both. I'll have to go back and look. I don't who know had the most hits? Chris was at his prime. Ludacris by far had the biggest hit, huh? What's your fantasy? Ludacris probably had a l more hit. Atlanta, Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta's going to say Ludacris. Only because his underground wasn't, you know, the internet then boom. Uh, internet was jumping when T.I. was doing his thing, so everybody got T.I.'s mixtapes. So if you go back to Ludacris' catalog, 
Man oh man. You said Ludacris got on? Yeah. Before we get to this battle, and you, you mentioned two chains earlier, didn't you? Yeah. I want to ask y'all this. <clears throat> we remember T.J. Uh, damn. We remember uh, two two chains was Teddy Boy. Right? Mm -hmm. What was the guy in the group he was in? Duffel Bag. Nobody knew that he would ascend to the heights that he has. And I ask you this. For sure, except for me. A ludicrous, <clears throat> but you a thug for ATL. Of course yeah, you know. True. <laughs> you a skinny pimp. Ludicrous versus two chains. <laughs> the, the entirety of the career. Who would you rate higher? Wow. Ludicrous versus two chains. Yeah. Who would you rate higher? Talking about music strictly that, or that, a whole that, career? That, <clears throat> they talk, I'm talking about straight music. I'm not talking about this nigga like the success the seventh fucking actor in mm. Fast and Furious. Right, nigga change tires. Change, right, okay. Okay. Uh, you said you gotta go back to the underground loop, Chris, uh, man. That that one B.I.B.I. Oh, 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 you sound like a white man. You don't B.I.B.I. Teddy Boy was different than Two Chainz. I hate to say this, though, but I got to fucking go with Two Chainz. Yeah, man. Teddy Boy. I got to go with Two Chainz. Because he is just more edgy. I like the edge to it and shit. Ludicrous rap. He can make an incredible song. <clears throat> but it's just some. I think Tip Boy has more sauce. Boy was crazy. That shit harder than the bitch. Then he got more like one liners and shit. Yeah. That nigga had that I song. think if you look at it on the like, uh, personal birthday, perspective, yeah, though, like Luda, though, he had more different type of people listening to his music more than Two Chains. That, that, yeah. uh, Two Chains got straight. Him and Kanye. I'm just thinking about that beat. That whole track production is crazy. That birthday, that that track. Yeah, he made some bangers. That's still track. making bangers. Yeah. So what? So what? So what? <laughs> who, who does? Who you think? So what? What you looking at? I'm gonna say. 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 I'm gonna you know what I'm saying? That shit. You know what I said? The, the, what's your fantasy? Your favorite part was Sean part. Uh, who would be your? Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I just caught. I'm like, what? It's what's gonna be. Saying? It's gonna be different, but they both is like lyrically really good, and they both could flow. Big and three stacks under three thousand. I was trying to think who to put. What B I G? Biggie. He can flow, man. Biggie, no, 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 no. Biggie, one of my fucking favorites. But if we talking battle, we gonna mash up the song. Biggie, his catalog so short. That's how come I couldn't see him going against Andre. You know, I'm thinking a battle though, like they just freestyle rapping, like. But they both writers, about, though. Like that. That, that shit is they pen. You know what I'm saying? That's where they strength at. But that, I mean, like I don't shit on Biggie, Biggie at all. He's a monster. He can fuck. I don't know. But he's Freddy and Andre's coronavirus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. Andre 3000 is bar for bar, pen for pen. I'm not putting my favorite rapper up against that shit. I'm not putting no only pen. I'm going to tell y'all this he right now. The only pen I'm love, putting against love, Andre 3000 is Royce the Pod. No. Yeah. That's the only pen yeah, I'm putting against him. Who to put against him. That's the only pen I'm putting against he him. Hard, he, he just too. He, <laughs> that ain't fair. We leaving Andre out this motherfucker. <laughs> We only put them in groups. We got to do the group shit because that ain't fair to put him against What about nobody. like the Childish Gambino type? What about it? Ergo, who we going to go against? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out somebody who like not weird but like different and then still very Bro. successful and flow. Is like, Childish Gambino so, weird to you? I, no, I'm just saying it's different than the standard. Because he's talented as hell. That's all I'm saying. They both very talented. I just don't know. He don't, don't, don't have a catalog. I can't say that they... Now. No. Huh? I just I don't know. He just how he expresses. I'm just himself. saying some shit, but like I don't know who I could put against. Yeah. Like, he couldn't. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Like he expresses himself. That's hard. See, I know what they need to do. Uh, what's um? Damn, what's the cash money versus um? No limit. No limit. That would be man. Good. That would be so that fucking hard. That'd be legendary. Hard. That'd be legendary. Oh my god. That shit right there. I'm gonna tell you. And I thought about this. Now mind you. I was there for the No Limit shit. 
I fizzled out when Cash Money got the pop. I was never into any of them. BG, Juvie, I, I didn't get into them. Wayne. I was into No Limit Slim. as much Slim. as I could be. We talked about we thought yeah. Silk was hard. <clears throat> we actually thought Silk was worse than Twerk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Silk was worse than the worst person in any fucking clique ever. Silk was shocked one that day. Come on! That nigga was a face. That nigga was a face. I think C. Murder just because his name. was like, that's his brother. Oh, uh, yeah. The hardest nigga on No Limit was Mac. That nigga was cold. The hardest nigga on No Limit. That nigga was cold. I'm going to have to download the missile on the way home. He's better than Miss Cool. Yeah, Miss Cool went hard too. He's a beautiful one. The hardest song Mr. Go had on that, on his whole, no, his, not his hardest song, but his hardest verse, was that shit with B, B Legit and E-40. Yeah, so, man, that's dope. Like, I still maintain to this day, like, Cash Money was one of my, uh, one of, was the best concert I ever went to of all time. Did you wave your hands in the air like you just did? Yeah, yeah. No, I was my mouth was, out. was yeah, fucking shirt open. On. I was just like Lil Wayne going in the air like a helicopter. Oh, Did you see Pop Lil Wayne concert? Cash no, money, his shirt coming out of diamonds, yeah, yeah. fireworks, nigga, with the back that thing. Was, was this the concert where Baby said I fuck with niggas too? Nah, I ain't say no shit. Like Baby wasn't now. <laughs> baby was back there. They ain't even do. Man, you ever seen that clip? Yeah, he said it wasn't like that though. He what? Nah, but I mean, I, can like I watched the interviews after. I, I watched it. Listen, I was hurt by it when I was in uh, younger days. Man, you gotta have an explanation for that. <laughs> but to see them, even even if they was <laughs> in the same concert, how do you explain that kiss? I hate to go. No, see how this. they You like the press, man. You like the, um, <laughs> what do you say on stage? So how you explain? Nah, we gonna stick to one question, man. He, he said he said it like like. Like, it's niggas over here, niggas over there. Like, I fuck with them, and I fuck with these niggas, man. I fuck with niggas. <laughs> he said, I fuck with these niggas. That's fuck, how he tried to explain it in his interview, and that made sense. was like, what he was trying to say was, I fuck with whoever. Like, I ain't got no problem with nobody. Because they were saying all the bitches could come on the stage. And, and he was saying that it don't matter. Like, yeah. hold on. That's, he said, and I fuck with niggas, too. Like, not like that, bro. Like, yeah, I've never said that. Uh, no, I, I get that. I get that. Have you? I watched the interview. No, no, no. Have you ever said that? I watched the interview. Have you? I understand you watched the interview. And I agree with oh, what he man. said oh, in his man. explanation. Of not the girl because it made sense. Like, all right, I see what he's saying. Because it made sense. They weren't gonna let nobody on this. stage except for a couple girls and back me their ass up. And Hold on, and that, that's the key thing. It was the back of your ass up song. So he was calling he, people up there to dance for back of nah, your ass that's up. that's what he was saying. He was just calling people up there to be interactive in, in the concert. If, listen, if you was at the concert, any of y'all right concert here, don't show him any, dancing. Any, 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 Come any, on, any, man, don't do hold this. Hold on, hold on real quick. Any of you heterosexual <laughs> men up here, if they playing back of that back that ass up and they invite you on stage, are you going on stage? <laughs> nah, they weren't invited. No, hold on, because you fuck with these dudes going to the stage? I don't know. I think niggas Cause he just said, "Come to, up here, I fuck nah, with niggas too." Uh, niggas just trying to get on stage to party. Guys you know? on the stage, I'm going on the stage. Yeah, I ain't going on the stage for up. him. You not are for him. Twisting it, man. Hold on, man. If I can slap one of those dance asses. with me and back the ass up on me, oh, I fuck with niggas too. Come on, y'all do it on me too. That's not nah, what he's saying. He's saying pre-stage. Hey, edit that. Edit that. Edit that. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. All to the side, all to the side, real quick before we get to Jason's uh, battle. Had he not kissed that nigga in the mouth, you had a decent argument. But once you do that, man, I I believe every day thing about you. Nah, because all three of y'all. He said, "Hey, you gotta watch your words. Yeah, <laughs> choose your words wisely after that." Nah, he that he explained that too. Now that's that's on them. Um, but it's unrelated to the stage. That's so, I watched that. So, what about you, Jason? Uh, or did you have your two? Your honor and Biggie. Okay. I, man, I, I, I didn't really have. And keep in mind the, the Instagram type shit. If you could just. I didn't really have one for real. Man, I was a part of a. a you a comedian? A you a comedian? So you comedian. One of them, one of them was uh, like new edition and the barge or some shit. Like, 
Put that shit in the morning. <laughs> Kevin, I ain't saying this some shit I want to see. That ain't even a competition. And, no, and this, this is my you got you got to do the bar and the noodles. And, 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 and keep in mind, this is what I'm saying. I was a part of one of these. They was like put, trying to put them up against each other. And I'm like, that ain't a good battle. So I'm, I don't know. I don't really. Uh, Y'all said a lot of the ones that I wouldn't even thought of. And with me like, and Aretha. Yeah, see you with me and Aretha. See, that's a that's a moment battle. Too. That's, that's a Robert Woods type battle. <laughs> <laughs> But but yeah, I don't. I'm sorry. I ain't. I ain't really got. Wait, no. Mariah. I want to see Little Romeo and Bow Wow go at it in that primes. All right, that's what. That Wendy Mariah be nasty. <laughs> yeah, that Wendy Mariah. Let me let me go. I'm I'm, I'm going a little bit left. Marginal talent the singers versus each other. Shanti versus who? <laughs> no, I'm saying marginal. I mean, they ain't super Ali. talented. No, no hell no. We <laughs> can fucking sing her ass off. You said Shanti. Um. Cause she can sing, but Kelly it's not. <laughs> yeah, Sha- that's, I mean, that's down there. Yeah, that's sure. down there comparable, but Ashanti kills her. Won't catalog. For sure, yeah. Won't yeah. catalog. I agree. I agree. Cause she had them Jaru hits. Oh, I agree. Let's see. I don't know about Ashanti. What? I'm talking about her versus Kelly. I don't know who. Oh, the second is Kelly. Oh, yeah. How about the? Uh, I'm sorry. Now you go. Uh, how about the? Uh, if we're gonna talk, and y'all probably don't want to see, I'm about to say some funny shit. Oh. <laughs> but uh, how about uh? We ain't get a female no love. See? Let's, 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 even, even Lil' Kim. How about Lil' Kim and Trina? <laughs> no? No, hold on. This why. Because you got to go Lil' Kim Foxy. That's the only bad thing. I, I was going to say, but I was like, that's been the, the thing. Or Lil' Kim and Minaj. Minaj, there you go. Yeah, that's Lil there you go. And Minaj a killer. There you go. Because Lil' Kim don't got a head off for real. Okay. Lil' Kim, she... I didn't want to say Foxy. Yeah. You know, Lil' Kim, she was already, as far as the accomplishments on the mic type shit. Because I say, she, her whole thing was the love with Junior Mafia, okay. the girl with Biggie. She was like, she had motherfucking in her mind. hair, she was the only person, the only female that it was a hardcore clip. Like, you had Lauren Hill with the Fuji, but she was the Fugees. That's a good one. Nobody. No, no. I feel about Andre, no, I'm about sorry. About. I, did, I heard something. Lauren Hill versus Andre. The Fuji's can spit. What about Lauren Hill and Andre? What about Lauren Hill and Andre? Not pros. Not pros. Yeah, yeah. Not pros. <laughs> yeah, that's so. I'm oh, coming through with the microphone in my hand. So we can't no, say. No, pros. <laughs> so can we say Lauren Hill and like Eric Badu? Lauren Hill and Andre. Oh, okay. And that's just because they both spit and sing. Say. You know what I'm saying? And okay. At a highest okay. level when they both I'll accomplish. Erica Badu, you gotta take her. What about her, Jill Scott? Oh, <gasps> yes, you can. That is. Not to me. I mean, Erica Badu gonna win, but Jill. that's. Okay. What? Okay. Come on, man. Who would you go against Erica Badu? Yeah, we just said. Mary J. Mary J. She, she an upper no. echelon, though. You gotta find. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta, you gotta read the oh, Franklin said, Mary J. Yeah. Oh, you gotta read the Franklin Mary J. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is a good game. <laughs> Oh, good him. answer, good answer. 50 Cent and Ray Ross. I'll go 50. They did that in real life, didn't they? No, they did 50 hard. 50 hard at his prime. They were just oh, going at everything. Hard at his prime. 50 Cent everybody underappreciated. Everybody Please. playing. Yeah. When, you, when you win as hard as he won, people try to call everything that happened a loss. Yeah. When you win that hard, people hate everything sure, you man. do. Man, oh, it's no. kids. I get Who you, money. I just, I don't know. I, that mini man, bro. That's my, that's that's my cold, favorite bro. one, bro. Because it just comes in. Cold. You just start snapping. What's that shit? Then? What's that? Uh, I'm going to tell you my shit. My, anything that cannot coexist with the kid need to cease existing. Little nigga not listening. What's that? Your mammy, your pappy, and a little bitch you chasing. That shit was, that first 50 cents so fucking hard. Yeah, that nigga was, you talking about the, get rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was still hungry, man. Yeah, it, it was it was that type of album where I left the movie, went and bought the album the same day. Listen, man, I'm gonna tell I you. I left the mall, Best Buy, ran over there, got the little, filled it out the plastic, popped that thing open. That nigga something. heard them coin drops and thought he was in there. Yeah, nah, that intro, like, ding, ding, I wanted to hear the the way the movie line. started. I whip your head, boy. When I'm gonna take you blind up in the black, that shit, bang, and I had two twelves in the car. So I had to get 212 what? The subwoofers. Real niggas had 212 gauges. Nah, you wasn't no real nigga. Too short. I 
He's not on that shit. Scarface. Too short sometimes. Just certain songs like that I came across. Let's see, uh, what was Nap? Nap, LimeWire, Napster, LimeWire. All of that. All of that. Yeah. Man, I was just typing and shit, whatever. typing and shit. I typing get in trouble shit. for that shit. My mom would be like, you gonna get off of that, put a virus on it? It's the virus. It's the virus for downloading that shit. My mama didn't know nothing about computers, man, so that's where we, I did whatever. She said that shit on the news. That's how she Too short E40, my man. Too short E40. Too short E40. Dang. That was, man. You rude for that. <laughs> cause they were supposed to make an album together. Yeah. That's hard cause they both club bangers. Like on two show on E forty songs, T shirts, ass and like I can't even judge that one. Yeah, it's hard. Man. I can't judge that one. But if you a real music listener, it would be hard. But if you just like a mainstream that people would probably say too short because he was more on the radio more. He was more simple. Yeah. I mean not to say yeah, but but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me let me hit one more. Let me hit one more. See if this see if this a good one. This right here gonna be tough. This one right here gonna be tough. I don't know how how y'all fuck with these dudes. They older. <laughs> we fuck with niggas too. Uh, Cuba Scarface. Dang. Scarface. I love Scarface. Damn. Scarface. Damn. I love Scarface. What you talking about catalog? Hold on, hold on. Or success. Let me say this. Either. Uh, let me say can't. this right here. Let, no, me say, let me say this right here. It's a good competition when you first look at it. But I'll tell you this right here. At no point has Scarface been the best rapper in the world. Ice Cube was for at least two or three albums. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. At one point, that. Ice Cube was the best rapper mm -hmm. in the world. You can definitely say that. I don't care about that America's America. most, that this Tiffy, that oh, Predator. Oh, America's most. Oh, Them God. motherfuckers was crazy. I was, I was like 10 years old calling white men horny little devils. <laughs> That's what about how influential Ice Cube was. What about the War and Peace album or whatever the fuck That's that later, though. <laughs> oh, nigga, he was dead by then. Rest in peace, Ice Cube. I have to pull up some bullshit to help the face my. If you know, I'm going to tell you, if you go back and listen to some old Scarface, though, you're like, man, what the fuck is this? A lot I can of say that to a lot of shit. It is, it is. Uh, and then, right. and primarily, primarily Silk. <laughs> this this past, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, this quick segue. The Bulls documentary came out. What is it called? The Last Dance. The Last Dance. It's a ten-part docu series. Unfortunately, I haven't seen the first episode. Javar and Asad have. What's your thoughts on it so far? Man, amazing. Just because uh, it gives you like to me. It just I'm just speaking from me and maybe people who are like my age and stuff like that. People in basketball my age probably know. Of course, they probably know a lot, a lot more than I do, but. It just show like, like his mentality. You know what I mean? Like it just goes into like, dang, like this is what really separated him. Like you know, it what well, you know what separated him because of what he did and like the you know he he won this game, we got his championship, or did this. I got my own shoe, everybody wanted my shoes, but to know what somebody did to actually get there, like you know, like behind, like taking behind the curtains, like damn. Hold on, y'all see how I look back at Kurt, Like, that's what you got to do to do that, to, to get there? Like, like, damn, like, yeah, shit, that's just amazing. That's just, like, environment. What was, like, because it's, when I see it, I, 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 I of course, I'm going to get some insight. You talked about the contract shit with Pippen. We'll get into that. But it's going to be, like, a lot of nostalgia for me because I saw that shit live. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, mm -hmm. of course, I didn't know exactly what I was seeing in every capacity. I wasn't as. That's what makes it very interesting. Yeah. Y'all still didn't know that. Yeah. That, that's Don't sound me. <laughs> you, <son laughs> no, no, you didn't know like you thought you did, <laughs> old nigga. You thought you knew something, you old nigga. Look, did you see Wood Produce shoes? Huh? <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Real shit, though. <laughs> I'm just glad that they made some shit like this. For, like, I mean, they, they really put this out. You know? They got nothing else to do with quarantine. I mean, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> ten, saying, ten parts. It won't be no arguments or no discussions when everybody done watching these yeah. these whole parts. Is that how you like, I'm waiting on the Florida it's documentary. It's not gonna change. Then my then it's gonna they gonna be telling shit. You know what I mean? That I ain't fucking know. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everything the same yeah. shit. Which is uh, no, nah, I was just saying that it was that's cool. The parts that I did see, yeah. that, uh, it was cool to see. What did you say? Him. You ain't got ESPN, huh? Huh? You said what? You ain't got ESPN. When did you see it? I said the part yeah, that I seen, <laughs> which was in the trailer, y'all. <laughs> I see. This nigga was cussing them I niggas the fuck shit. out, and I was just glad to see that. Actual lie, like we knew it was happening. George Bully is legendary, but it was just great to oh, see yeah. this nigga. Like, oh! what about you? What you got? Sure, and man. hold on, let me say this right here. Aside, I'm gonna say this, bro. <laughs> it ain't too many times I say shit like this. But Asai got one of the most astute basketball bonds I've been around and just talked to. We did like a finals podcast a few years ago where we just sat out here, me and him talk about the game, chop him up, recap something like that. And I respect his basketball mind. I mean, that's about all I think about it. What you thought about the last <laughs> What you thought about the show? Hey, man. Like I was going to say, man. Shit. <laughs> it, it, it ain't going to. Y'all make that nigga blush. It. You uh, see that? Uh, <laughs> he was nah, blushing. I, 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 I say what though. Man. It, um, it ain't going to change the young people's minds who by themselves. It's going to change the young people who got somebody to talk, talk them through it. Because if you just look <laughs> yeah. at it, it looks like you're watching uh, that's um, the Jackie right. Robinson show. Movies. They playing um, fast motion and shit. Yeah, cover yeah. off, <laughs> cover off, and it's like. But one thing you can't change is Bram's still ten feet high. The nigga is triple clutching, yeah. <laughs> slamming on niggas like his hops is unbelievable. His athleticism is unbelievable, and then you can really just take away his mentality. I mean, but you're not the young people are not gonna look at Bird, Walt, and Mikael look like crackhead. But man, <laughs> come on, man, you're not Paris. I said that's Paris. That's a great pair. I said, I can do pairs. I said, I can get pairs 20 and 10. <laughs> I can get pairs 20 and 10 off that video. That's fucked up. Because like Bird said, Jordan had the energy. And I'm like, all oh, y'all niggas is old. Jordan said in the, in the show, a lot of niggas doing drugs back then. It wasn't like a climate of like working out. I feel like I keep up with most of them niggas. The nigga who hit the shot when Jordan couldn't play, the little white boy who hit the shot. Paxson. Who is that? Who Paxson. is that coach? Paxson. Uh, Paxson. Who the fuck is Paxson? Come on, man. I can take Paxson's spot. He was but, that, but hold on, hold on. So, hold so on, this is the mentality. This is the only dope, but today, though. Right, right. I'm being silly. But to the young people looking, the young high schoolers who have athleticism, they looking at that. Some of them going to say, man, I don't. That's old. That's old people. Yeah. LeBron's still king. Uh, but those who really know what they're looking at in terms of how he won, like the way he was obsessed about winning, the way he had, like, the way he, he ended up just the same story as Kobe. Like, he walked in, they doing drugs, and off that first encounter, he said, forever, I'm on my own. Kobe was the same way. He got to the league, everybody partying. He said, man, I'm not, I'm too young to do it anyway, so he's on his own. And they just go obsessive about it. You touched on something, man, which I want to touch on also, so we went in the train on the topic. Um, they talk about his first off, you talk that Mikhail shit, man. <laughs> Mikhail one of the greatest players there. I know, I know. But I'm just saying yeah. from the sense of what they, they cut see. It. How they when cut these it. kids look, they're not gonna see fear. When yeah. I saw Shaq, old school Shaq, you see, damn, that nigga is yeah. dominant. Like, but this this like I wanna ask, do you think that today's basketball is better than that, that age? Today's basketball what do you Man, I can't only because of, of the rules. After Jordan and between Jordan and Kobe, that's the greatest basketball. Yeah. That time period. It's falling off. That's no, that's 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 your age talk. Nah. That's well, definitely your age talk. I still feel like I'm a young age. man. And no, I, I'm saying because like in the eighties it was incredible. I think entertainment wise, so with the movies with the little no, the special effects. No, I'm saying like, not fly now listen, 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 I'm gonna tell you, if you take the eighties, if you go to decade by decade, you count the Hall of Famers, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Uh I agree because from what you're saying, because of respect for the old school, but if you're not Cause it's like your no. George Dervish, your Ralph Sampson, what do you I'm like? Talking about monsters who was who like they was overshadowed by other. They was over because they was such a push with the Jordan Bird. You would feel like it was only the Lakers Bird. I mean Magic Bird, Isaiah and Jordan. So then I would have to say, because in the nineties, who would you? In the nineties, in the nineties, who would you? Who would stand out to you? Drexler. 
Y'all said stand out, not good people you know. Oh shit. I just about it hot. <laughs> uh man, I don't know. Joy. I would have to Pepper. Charles Barkley. All I will be able to name is the yeah. motherfuckers on the Wheaties box. That's all I can see. Yeah. Is 92, 92 Wheaties. We do a lot of fouls back then. It was, it was. What do you mean? It was grown man ball back then. Call. It was grown man ball. Legit yeah. foul. Yeah. I feel, I feel like they they moved the three point line like back. See, so they don't talk about that. They moved the three point line back since then. They That's did. another thing. And it's but they put easy. emphasis on the three point shooting. They hey, hold on, because it was so fucking physical in them days and I'm shit. Saying, like, the was physical easy. aspect. Yeah, like, man, 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 listen, and they physical or, or we not training like, right? If I can move your little so ass what? out the way and do what physical I'm Physical or we not training right? Somebody like, we're right. training. Right. Like, hold on, because when you say training, there was no load management. You right. play all the games. Right, you right. play, you got, you can have a fucking fist fight in the game, and sometimes you want to get ejected. That's not. No, it's the physicality. These players. That's different physicality. That was just. That it was not because right. it led to mental toughness, though. It did. Mental some toughness. of that was just like, y'all niggas ain't even, the ball's not even on the side of the court. Y'all over here hacking me in my shit. Yeah, like, that's not toughness. Like, yeah. that's a different yeah. level of toughness. Y'all gonna work. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, though. All right, man. Hey, shout out to Trey. He, he yeah. just got up and left the team and shit. He ended, <laughs> his, contract, <laughs> ended his contract early. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, 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 hey, fuck with his right. I'm essential. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got fuck with a Friday. Yeah, I fucking with a Friday. Let me use the restroom. All right, Michigan Granite. But but it, but the NBA, the which one is better for sure? This is what you like. Yeah. Like for sure, it was the old school because they had to fight for their fucking points more than just all right. Yeah. I, could just I think pull up. I think there's more skill. They was that, that's that's yeah. that goes and into they play it. more intelligent. That goes into yeah. it because now skill. you could just you knew. You, it's, it's just a money ball thing now. Like I know I I got to shoot X amount of threes to win. It's like and, it's competitive either. And they and now they got the space to do all this creative that ass shit. shit in right the air. there. They have the space that to move right around there. and dunk them and do this amazing. You can't shit. touch them. You can't hand check. You have to it's dunk on the motherfucker it's back then. Move. You have to push and dunk them. Back on then there was a lot of uh, skill because that's how the game came about. The game naturally people weren't trying to spam yeah. it by just bully ball. It was skill. Like a lot of Jordan's highlights in the in the episode, he bank shot a lot of it. Like a lot of his jump shot, you feel like he's over jumping it. Like nigga, you didn't need to jump that high just to hit this two. It's just two. All of it was fundamental. But these niggas nowadays have fundamental. You think they got fundamental? This is the most unfundamental basketball I've ever seen. No, no, this the most they, un, this the most unfundamental but they taking basketball it out I've seen. of it. Like it's not the players, and I used to think the same thing. Like man, these players don't have the fundamental. Yeah. These players have all the fundamentals yeah. of the legalities, like the traveling shit. Yeah. They don't have all the touch shots and fundamentals like that. But it's been a push for who's the fastest, who's the strongest. We no longer need you to hit bank shot if you can just blow by them and slam on them. Forget the bank shot. You're stronger, and for the next five years, you'll be able to do this at this pace and give us this many numbers. Forget your development. And the rules allow for that. Yeah, and so now. Yeah, because back in the day, man, that was some flavoring shit. To be <laughs> That's not real yeah. physicality. Iverson went through real physicality. Yep. Undersized, he was getting hat. Iverson, that nineties, yeah, that late nineties, yeah, yeah. early two thousand, that was physical basketball. With Shaq, but he was a falling ball. ass nigga Shaq too. Though. <laughs> went through the physicality. That's probably one of the worst eras of basketball. Was in terms of when the Pistons won a championship. Just them couple years when it was them, them versus uh, Arden. Uh, we all at you. Yeah. Be, when you see the Pistons versus the Spurs in the finals, man, that's damn near. Talking about 2000 to 2010? Yeah. yeah. It was all that little. Yeah. Hey, Tim. Tim, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're right. You're right. This way off subject, I seen a post on Instagram. Uh, who posed this question? Uh, it was one. Of, I can't remember who posed it. The question was. How many bodies is too many bodies for one? Anybody feel free to tackle that? Many of a man. Come on, Amber Rose. I just have to say, what the ladies want to No, I'm talking about, no, I'm saying. That's what they would say. I'm talking I'm about if you put your body. vagina up and talk regular. Uh, it ain't no too many, Five. it's about maintenance. Five. What do you mean? It's <laughs> summer's eve. Is it, is it still, is it loose at the... 
I'm on five, six months, seven months. Cause I can't judge a motherfucker, man. Yes, you can. <laughs> hey, but I can only judge them if they made mistakes. And mistakes being they call some no shit, number. they lose his head. Yeah. But I can't judge a motherfucker. You yeah. do your yeah. shit. What what at what point do your stomach turn when you talk to a bitch? Like, at what point do you you're like, damn? At what point do you believe what's coming out of my mouth? No, 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 no. We're not talking about what she's saying. We're talking about you. I'm talking about period. With the, like the city, Say it again. like the city girls. Say it again. Like what far as you concerned, if you talking to a girl and somehow which this is really never come up because you never really want to know. Um, if you ask her how many people you've been with, at what point do you think, God damn? Like what number? <laughs> I must like, always say that just to fuck with a motherfucker. Yeah. I'm be but like, no. say ten, I'll be like, damn. But but but, now, but, but it, maybe maybe fifty is alarming. Maybe. He said 50? <laughs> 50? That's 100 balls. No, nah, nigga, let me work my way back down, nigga. 50 is alarming. 40 is like, damn, she went to spring break a few times. 30 is like, uh, what was you doing? And then 20 is about yeah, regular. Everything's yeah. a regular to you? Man, in this day and age. I don't know you be picking your bitch up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you don't know. No, I'm not. I'm talking about from in your mind what is acceptable. To you. <laughs> I, I gotta accept it all. They told Jay, they said, look, look, dude, I'll be right got, back. <laughs> so if your girl that you love and love with right she now, she don't yet 18. She got the vibe. Hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jay said he don't care. But if your if you your girl, friend, <laughs> well, I do. Like, hey, look, that ain't got shit to do with me, baby. Ooh, I got one more. I be mad. <laughs> Let him get it in real quick. Hey. But what do you? What I mean, if, if if you already in love and she really for real told you the number, what you gonna say? First of all, get your ass out of love. No, I'm saying you with your you with your girl. I mean, I don't want to go into personal right. shit. By the time I'm with my girl, she got them. We not. Gary had this discussion <laughs> after I done hit you a hundred times. <laughs> hey, every time I fuck you, it, it, don't listen, talk to listen, me. Listen, listen. <laughs> For every ten times you fuck, you remove a dick. What? So you drop her count. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Oh, you're the 30 times. That's three niggas gone. He's you been racing them. You funny. <laughs> okay. So you really good at that Ooh. Ooh. I can Ooh. never know is my point. That's it my point. Depends. I can never know. Yeah. What, do, what do it depend? It this depends is, on their story. This, this, and you know what? How you carry yourself. Oh, that got yeah. something big to do with it. Because it's like if she had in high school, yeah. if she was under the bleach <laughs> with low self-confidence, exactly. and that's 10 basketball team. players came and hit her, you yeah. took her over to Montana. Get all the food. Yeah. So you got to move what? Montana. Your stomach can turn on they a girl that says it's your story. Oh, she don't like uh, moose. Mooses. <laughs> like, what the? Oh, she don't like hell. I said your stomach can turn on a girl who says she just had three. Like, any small numbers you can think of. But it's like three at a time. It'll go to. <laughs> it's where your stomach turn. It not just goes three. to what the, the outline, yeah, the so circumstances you behind the, the mentality. You That's what. Because we're trying to read the mentality for moving forward. If a girl yeah. hit 30 and they like, yeah, I hit 30 because these niggas out I'm here or whatever, whatever. circumstance, so it's 30 cool. Like, I, like hold on, just I go ahead. The number, I can't defend, but the, the point that I'm trying to make is it's cool when, when one, you have a plan for that girl that doesn't involve a reputation. And, and then it could be like, well... If she mentally was in control of what was happening all the whole time and cool, if you felt like she was just used and she was just easy and every nigga just got her, but if she was just down to have that much fun, well, I mean, that's not my cup of tea, but fuck, if she knew what she Wait, was doing. what do you mean? Like, how do... Some girls is out fucking. Some girls out getting fucked. But There's like, a difference. But, no, what's the difference? Slight difference. I have you ever seen... been to fucky? <laughs> Which one is that? That's a, that's a, <laughs> you either a fucker or you a fucky? The initiate, the person who initiated. Maybe you feel like you was a victim of bitch who was going around fucking niggas. Like she called you for the Yeah, I was waiting. <laughs> what you mean? Look, man, it's 10th grade year, sophomore, man. She, I heard she was with the what you call all you had to do was before basketball practice. They said, I'm waiting around the corner. 
What'd you do? I waited around. You started banging your eyelashes and shit. We lived around so long. Where you going? She said, You're here good. I said, What you doing after school? And, mm -hmm. you know, we kind of. But you prayed on her. I just prayed it's on like her. It's like you knew that she. waited in you the area. You knew she was out there. She prayed on her. She prayed She always did. She always by the third bleachers at three o'clock. Just be there. That's damn near how I was. Shout out to her, man. So, okay, so now you know that. You know the type of person she was. I mean, you now, you right now, could you imagine, like, if she came to you, it's not that same particular girl, but she got that history yeah. and she ran into you, is that too many? I'm talking about, know. like, casual. At least if you were getting fucked and shit, just tell me you loved them all and you thought it was going somewhere. Don't tell Lots me you, you. <laughs> Don't just tell me you was just. That irritates me more, though. The love shit. I, yeah, I, when they felt like, because that's mentally weak, like. I'd rather a girl that's just impatient, mature, maybe just promiscuous, just didn't think nothing of it, wasn't hoping this was There's it. There's always a thought, though. If I know, but... A, no. go ahead, go ahead. I was about to say, if it's a high number, higher than you expected, you say, hey, it ain't about where you've been, it's about where you're going, baby, and then you start kicking it in a pimping, you know? What, you gonna start renting around? Because you don't talk to them all yeah. like <laughs> You ain't yeah. never seen the Mac? Yeah, yeah we just about this, baby. Numbers, man. No. No, you can't make nobody do nothing. You can't make nobody do nothing they don't want to do. And if they already doing it, then it ain't nothing wrong with them doing it. For okay. You. Okay. Now listen. Personally, <laughs> outside of Good outside point. of zero, you personally, if you know what's the threshold that you could take aside. Man, I never really thought about. It. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I thought about it. So then. I say I like a woman that have averaged one point five per year since the age of eighteen. So you thirty six. <laughs> yeah. so, so hold on, hold on. So you thirty six since the age of oh. eighteen. So that's that's what's thirty six. Probably twenty one, but I can't judge. That's twenty. Wait a minute, that is a lot of fucking dick. You would you accept dick? Balls. Well, that's not tw that that's a one lot. a year. A one a year. You that's unstable. Man. I said one point one point five a year. How many? So I just a quick average. It's about one and a half. How many do they average? Up? So she can blow half a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a quarter. My bad. Yeah, yeah. That's a quarter. Some, some girls that have one for six months and one for fourteen months, and it's like that's twenty months. You know, so this bitch don't ever experience. So I'm just saying, if where she just can't. Most fall. girls aren't gonna be in that. I mean, that's the thing. Like some so, usually like relax. That's the love. It's yeah, so yeah, that's the relationship. Time, so like, like maybe a relationship each year, like, but in our climate every week. Type shit. Yeah, but our climate is fucking. But like, then again, this is this is your, this is what you climate. can take. This is what you this is what your heart can handle. So it's like what she gun you with like twenty and three fourths of the dicks. Nah, like that's that's just my number, but I don't think. Accepting. So you like did you fall in love that many times, or was you just out here fucking? Yeah, that would that that, that 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 is the determining factor for me. Like that's more than a number. So you didn't love him. <laughs> because if a girl says, man, for the last 20 years I've been traveling and living throughout this world, what the fuck you thought I was going to do? Sit by myself all day? Hell no, bitch. I thought you were going to read a book with your friends. Look, man, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Open what about you, Jay? Friends out here fucking. Hey, hey, the hair. Oh my God, audio books, niggas. Bitch, you went you know. gay for four years? <laughs> I was listening to the audio book while I was fucking. What, what's your number, Jay? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, like I said, I know. Like I said, I played devil's advocate earlier, and I know that was some extreme shit. But aside, kind oh, I mean, really, you were serious. But I'm, but I'm getting to yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Aside, really did kind of just put it like that. That's what can you really listen, man? We be unless a motherfucker like not finna what you can accept. Like if you, if you, it's alarming when you get to double digits. All right. Okay. Okay. But I it, agree with that shit. But I agree with that. And that's only if you know a real number. Oh, and you will never dude. know a real so number. Double so I, exactly. I don't believe that shit. Oh, I don't women believe that shit. Been to double you believe that? I don't believe all women, but I, I don't do. believe that. I don't believe. That, you, don't believe. That, you, don't know you gotta say I'm them bars. It might sound like a stretch, but all right. That just makes three of us at this table believe them when they say they only had nine. I can't believe. it. <laughs> 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 No, I mean, yeah, too, nigga. I said I can't never believe you. How many years you had a hold on to one girl? You gotta think, right? 
So yeah, just imagine how somebody else had a long yes. one. So I mean, some That's year, the some, some, some be year like they that. had, yeah, like multiple twins, but some is like, yeah, but, he see, but, he, he but y'all average, y'all took the average and threw the average on my age. It's it depends on their age. It does because if you if you in your young twenties and you already done this, maybe that's too many. Because right, I don't know. If you in your thirties, you just hit your thirties. Maybe double dudes not that many. Maybe it is still. But it depends on the age, man. Because with age comes time. Because at certain time points, you have relationships that, like Javar said, last a little bit longer. High school. If you coming out of high school with double dudes, there's a problem. I think I'd rather for you have your double dudes in high school. Shit. There's a problem. And that's the stress right there, but god damn. I'd rather get the majority of shit. If you come out of college and you now have double digits, that to me unfortunately has become it's normal. Man. And his it's average twenty five year old female got double digits. And his average starting at eighteen, which is not a realistic number. Twenty five so. today. <laughs> Yeah, 25 year old girls today have doubled this. Most of them niggas didn't last long enough for the girls to consider it. They out here for Listen, man. Listen. Boom. You know this. I'm going to tell you, 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 you thinking, thinking like a man. What no, I'm thinking like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like myself. Because nigga, I know a few motherfuckers who said that nigga didn't count. Yeah, a many times. <laughs> That's right, right. Right. I know I didn't yeah. count, but it's like, hey, it counted in my memory. <laughs> oh, my oh, and that was just the first week in the world. How many you got that don't count that you took off your last year? <laughs> I don't think about it no more. He said, I don't you know, think about it. it. So you don't got fun so many times they fell off? No. <laughs> no. I don't like to think about these people. <laughs> my number's been over 50, so I try to keep my number yeah. low. You know, so. But oh, I, hold on. He said it's been. You hear that little, what the fuck was that? Nah, my number being over 50, I'm trying to keep it low. Much. Had he no, said I, under I know, 50. I know some people say they're like most dudes say they're like over 75. But you lost your virginity in college. Yeah, right. So yeah, you yeah. you ain't yeah. normal, nigga. Yeah. You well, you the kind of woman I want. I said I keep my yeah. 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 That's why I said he started at 18. That's unrealistic, yeah. nigga. Uh, <laughs> that's unrealistic. So Where were you? I wouldn't even like discuss my number. So twenty over that. Well, you get older, you don't discuss that with no but you, woman. You don't. You don't discuss number. But I know the last. It was years ago, but I made that count. That's what I was doing when I was a sophomore. Right now, names, shit. Yeah. For a while, I had like because when I was at 24, 25, that. That, that you remember all their names that with point, the color of their eyes, don't you? I smoked one day and I yeah. man I started thinking of these names next because I think chronologically and it just it'll flow because I know damn man, I ain't had no noodles that. Night. Hey man, listen. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's up, man. That's up. Niggas like him end up on OnlyFans. Turn the fuck out. Speaking of man. Oh my He says she gonna fuck like two fifty. Is that too many? 250 yeah. is too many. But that's her line of work. That's true. Right. That's her I mean, line. At this point, she's on Twitter with it. So it's like. But that's not too much. That's her job. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'll drive too, too many, many miles when I'm trying. I'll drive a truck. So it is. I'll drive too many miles someday. <laughs> how many jobs? I mean, how many tasks have you done at work, nigga? That's what this is. Hey, hey. Tasks. Hey, hey. Look, though, look, though, man. This shit going on forever. Cause this shit is silly. We're going to wrap this up, though. Uh, shout out to everybody who rocks with us on 128. 129 definitely coming up. Uh, as the side said, we the only podcast still thugging through the quarantine. Word to the governor. I hope this shit goes to July. I love governor. Yeah, it do need to. I need it to go to the end of. Um, man, I wish it didn't go to the end of August. I, I need, need to go, go and take his job. Yeah. I need to go to August and leave. I need to. I need, I need to get in shape. Yeah, yeah. I need to get in yeah. shape and come back and oh, give my come back. Into June. 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 We all agree on end of June. We all agree on end of June. I'm gonna take this to the president. Hey, end of June, cool. y'all cool. Real y'all white cool with that. We gotta do Fourth of July fireworks. Niggas finally come out. And listen though, this is what I said though. I said they're gonna try. I said that's probably when they will do it to make it symbolic that, and you know, celebrate. Yeah. Fake man, celebrate. Right take and go back and shit. Man, and I said that shit. That. I said we try. They're gonna try to make it symbolic and shit as the Independence Day. We beat it. We beat it, guys. 
Well, that's what, that's what Trump going to say to fucking... King Trump. King, King Trump. Trump. That's, that's King. Uncle Trump, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> it's crazy how rappers used to love Donald Trump. Yes. Rappers used to love Donald Trump. Anything you want to send close to the song? Hey, somebody hire me, man. Yeah. Making a career change. I'm coming out of this coronavirus brand new thing. Only fans. <laughs> no, man, whatever. It don't matter as long as it pays. <laughs> All you gotta do is advertise with that goddamn up for that crescent moon tattoo and that erasable on your chest and shit. They call you the nasty Muslim man. <laughs> Anything you gotta say, Jason? No. Nope, you got no, no, uh, battles coming up? Any battles? <laughs> I <G> battle. <laughs> you, you and JQ. It's going to be me fighting myself to not fucking hold on, go on. Hold on, hold on. Let me line you up. Let me line you up. You and, uh, let me see who you going to hold about to have you battle, man. You and, uh, who the fuck can I have you battle? I'm about to set up a fucking IG battle, nigga. I'm about to, I'm about to find one of these local motherfuckers around here for your battle. Y'all, y'all going at it. I, I got to set this up. I just hope people getting hungry for some live stand up after seeing a lot of this shit online. Yeah. And I hope that it's uh we get until the end of June at least. Yeah. We should promo it. I, I wanna be able to work and then take days we should, off we should before I go back to the show. Nobody been doing the promo. <laughs> they just We're not coming out of the show. Yeah. Things are never going back to normal. Man, I've been on track again, man. Yeah, people know it's not gonna Cause you say no, no, that's a fact. Hell yeah. Shout out to the T C K podcast, man, cause we still working. Second mixtape on the way. First mixtape was a success. Feature uh, DJ T Rex did a good job featuring all the artists. Everybody did a great job, man. That was a good turnout. I'm re- I'm excited for the second one. That's gonna be crazy. Cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Man, we got we we definitely just got a lot of work that's coming out. And we're working on a lot of shit, man. So shit, keep following us. We ain't falling off like all these other motherfuckers. So we keep y'all entertained. In the meantime, so definitely good to be back after that brief hiatus. Uh, before we go and make a alarming announcement, two out of four niggas can't play spades. It's been well documented. <laughs> hey, look, y'all don't even know if I can't play yet because I ain't played. Listen, right? listen, look, I could, I could learn right listen. and be better than all y'all. Jason, definitely. Saying, I don't, I don't, I don't like black people, so that's why I'm. And that explains it all. Nah, I don't, I don't fuck with the car. It's mostly memory. Jason, he gonna get better though. Man, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with. I'm just gonna say y'all scared. Oh no, nigga, a no go. Oh no, that's good. We but look though, fantastic show. Thank you everybody for tuning in to the best podcast you never heard of. Thanks everybody for coming, kicking shout, kicking shout out to Trey. He came and kicked it. He's going out to the airport to do nothing. Um, yeah, shout out to my nephew, Fat Boy. Man, we miss you. We love you. Uh, I can't wait to see you in the kingdom when Yahuwah rectify everything he redeem his people and we link up again it's definitely going to be a beautiful moment the most high he always liking things to comparable things that we can identify with on earth and moments like these are like birth pains this is labor where you go through so much and you feel the pain and all you can think about is how much it hurt but once what he wants to happen happens, all you remember is the joy of the birth. The baby, he went come out, the beauty of it. So once we leave this captivity, everything will make sense. Uh, we have a newfound joy and appreciation. Everything will be for his name's sake and it'll bring esteem to him. Like when he, when, he, when you overcome, like when you're at your weakest point, when you feel like giving up, when you're at your saddest points, that's really when you start moving. Because he need to remind you who he is and who's almighty and all-powerful. And that's just how he works. And I'm, I'm grateful to be part of the nation that he chose. And it's all love. I love I love the Father. And I got to trust in everything he do unbashedly. I can't be happy and praise him only at those times. I got to praise him even when I'm sad. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how that, you, 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 can't, you can't just pick and choose. So... Being that he almighty. Uh, you know, people only like hearing that on Sunday. I dig all that. Barack Yahuwah for that kind of wisdom and understanding. Catch y'all next week on the best podcast you never heard of. The Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m.